Good evening, I'm Paula Toady. And I'm Kyle Inskeep. It's now been months since people in one local neighborhood have had their mail delivered. The Postal Service stopped actually going to give them their mail after a mail carrier was attacked by a dog. It is a growing headache for the people who live in this area. I can only imagine. Our Morella Porter spoke to them about their concerns. She joins us now live tonight with more on this story. Morella, good evening. Hey, good evening, Kyle and Paula. So I found that the dog warden has actually cited that dog owner two times. Once when that mail carrier was bitten um, back in April and then another time this past July. But neighbors that I spoke to say this hasn't really done anything for them as far as getting their mail back here. Um, and they just at this point don't know what to do. Months without mail. It's ridiculous. At least not delivered to their homes. Oh, I just wish we could get our mail back. Since April, neighbors on Clinton Springs Lane have had to go out of their way to get their mail after a dog attacked a mail carrier, forced to go to the St. Bernard Post Office. And Penny says she can only make it once a month. And my bills are piling up and it's it's just aggravating to go back and forth down there. She and Darlene Hicks are mostly concerned about paying their bills on time. They're not tech savvy, so paying through the mail or on the phone is the best way. The bills collector don't want to hear that you didn't receive your mail. They want their money on time. Every other day, either Hicks or her son are at the post office. They've tried several times to work it out. I even suggested that the mailman come to the corner on a particular day of their choice, of course, and tell us that the mail is there and we come down to the corner. But they didn't even want to do that. And as spring has quickly turned to fall, they're concerned about winter. It's going to be harder for me to get down there. It's senseless for a senior citizen to have to go all the way up to St. Bernard, when I was about a mile away or so, in a vehicle or on the bus just to get their mail. The neighbors say the only advice they've received from the post office is to talk to the dog owner, which they don't feel should be left up to them. John Penny knows how serious the attack was. I've seen the blood all on uh, the um, other neighbor's porch from it. You know, he was hiding behind chairs and the dog was getting him, bit him on his arm, his leg. He doesn't understand how they can expect people in their 80s to find a solution when the warden can't even fix the problem. At this point, they feel they're being punished for something out of their control. Now, the Postal Service tells me after the attack, they made two attempts to deliver mail, but the dog was loose both times. They say delivery will start up again once it's safe for the mail carrier to do so. Now, Cincinnati Animal Care tells me the best suggestion for the people who live here is to keep calling the dog warden every time that they see that dog loose, and hopefully, eventually, they'll be able to get their mail back um, delivered to them right here in their neighborhood. Live in Avenue. Morella Porter, Local 12 News. How frustrating. Thanks, Morella. The Postal Service did share suggestions for controlling dogs, so mail service is not interrupted. A link to that, along with their full statement to Local 12, is on our website. Just click on this story.